a great way of getting started and getting some ideas. So just coming closer a little bit more, right? This is Kogan.com. And this is a website, Kogan.com, I think .au, I think you go to, right? I had the privilege of actually meeting Mr. Kogan uh, a couple of years ago. And I remember grilling him for about 20, 30 minutes or so. We're talking about products because I, I used to have a, an importing, uh, basically an importing company back then. We used to source products from China and find products for our clients and bring them back to Australia and send them over to the US, right? So I remember sitting down with him 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes or so. I was asking him pretty much on behalf of clients, you know, what does he do? How does he get the best prices? How, do he hit the, how does he fund deals? Very, very smart guy, all right? Now today's video, I wanna walk you through some ideas on getting started. So if you're still strapped for ideas and you may be like, you know, what is a good product to sell? A great way of, of finding out is actually visiting his website, all right? So this is his website right here. And what I might do actually is, um, this is his website right here. Now, he is a very, like I said, a very smart guy. He does a lot of product research for you. So if you are looking for ideas, uh, just heading over to his website, you will get actually a ton of ideas yourself, all right? So let's have a look here. So this is masks and sanitizers. Now, masks and sanitizers, they're right now. Everyone's buying masks and sanitizers. If you're in Melbourne right now, you have to buy a mask, right? So there was one in Priceline. In Priceline, there was actually a mask, a single-use mask, selling for 250 bucks. Like, what's going on? $250 for a mask. Okay, so masks and sanitizers, they're all the rage right now. If you're in certain states in Germany, if you're in certain states in the US, right, you have to wear a mask. It's legal. It's actually compulsory. You can get fined, I think, 200 bucks. Uh, in the street if you don't wear a mask, all right? So, uh, masks and sanitizers. So again, just checking out his main website, you're gonna get a whole bunch of ideas and a whole uh, bunch of uh, so ideas. And you, it basically means you still, it doesn't mean just jump on masks, right? It means you still gotta run the numbers. You still gotta you know, track it, track the numbers, look at it for three weeks, four months, uh, sorry, three, four weeks to make sure there's consistent sales. It isn't just a spike and then it drops. You wanna make sure there's consistent sales coming in for that particular product, all right? But masks and sanitizers, and looking at other things right here, he's got a kitchenware, homewares, as you can sort of see there, right? Home office essentials, they're always doing really well. Let's click home fitness equipment. Fitness equipment right now, big, big niche, all right? Very big niche. Okay, so you've got here, uh, let's have a look here. Now, you're not gonna be jumping on this particular bike, right? Why? Because it's too heavy way too heavy. Amazon is not going to be storing this particular bike for you. It's going to cost you a fortune just to ship it to the customer. So you're not going to be selling exactly all the products he, he sells. You still got to look at, is it lightweight? Is it something that's going to be brandable for my future brands, right? Or for my future, can I jump on or, or put other products attached to that same brand? Um, also, you know, is it something that I can easily bring in? Is it something that um, isn't going to cause me problems, right? I'm not going to be drink. Is it something that if it breaks, can I repair it or can I find someone that repairs it, right? But again, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's, it's something that uh, is, you know, it's not an immediate, yes, jump on this product. It's basically, you still got to run the numbers, all right? So resistance bands are doing well, kettlebells, bit on the heavy side, right? The battle ropes, right? I don't know whether you've seen those before, but the battle ropes, they're actually quite good as well. Okay, so what else you got here? You got stands, fitness products, you got uh, punching bags, the slim treadmill, I wouldn't do that, it's too heavy, right? So again, you wanna focus on stuff that is small, that's lightweight, uh, really two kilos or less is kind of what you wanna be doing. Any less than one kilo is actually better, but uh, two kilos. So for example, this, a Fortis hard foam roller, all right? So $89.99. Now this will be <coughs> an oversized product, but it's something, it, it, it's something that's selling for $89.99, Right, it's, it's something relatively simple, like what, what's, what is that? It's a piece of foam. It's a cylinder shaped piece of foam. Not much can really go wrong uh, with that particular product, all right? And home fitness right now is doing really, really well because people don't want to go to the gym to work out. People don't want to go to the gym to work out, right? So people don't feel safe. They don't want to breathe or, or heave in the same room. No matter how many sanitizer wipes people have, people don't want to be in the same room, right? Uh, tempo, uh, so boxing gloves, right? $25 right here. So again, ra r run the numbers on this, but boxing is, is huge right now. People are heading out, they're going, to the, uh, they're going to the parks, there's a lot of open air there. So hand wraps, right? Another basic product, right? 
punch ball on a stand. You might have to do the numbers on that, but that's another good product. What else we got here? Uh, Fortis Home Gym Shock and Noise Mat, right? Mats right now, everyone's doing home workouts. Everyone wants to work from, uh, from home. A $49 mat, what is that? It's a, again, a piece of foam, okay? Punch mitts, $39, right? So again, guys, you still gotta run the numbers. What I'm saying is you get ideas, you go here, still run the numbers, and you're still looking for products that usually range between $20 and $100. That's the sweet spot. You're looking for lightweight products, products that you can brand, products that you can sell, maybe one, two, three, and attach those, those three or four extra products to that one product so you can start leveraging off your old customers. So hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Like I said, kogan.com, great website to check out. And uh, check it out, get some ideas, come back to me. I'll love to see you at some of our uh, future live workshops and training. And uh, yeah, stay safe in the meantime. Have a great day.